This is an NBC News special report. Good afternoon. I'm Morgan Radford. We've just heard from President Trump, who's been meeting at Camp David today with top aides and key Republicans in Congress. He's there discussing his legislative agenda for 2018. Now, the president also had more to say about allegations that have come out in a new book about the first year of his presidency. Here is some of what he had to say. Well, only because I went to uh, the best colleges or college. Uh, I went to a, uh, I had a situation where I was a very excellent student, came out, made billions and billions of dollars, became one of the top business people, went to television and for 10 years was a tremendous success, as you probably have heard, uh, ran for president one time and won. And then I hear this guy that uh, does it not know me, doesn't know me at all. By the way, did not interview me for three, he said he interviewed me for three hours in the White House. It didn't exist, okay? It's in his imagination. And what I was heartened by, because I talk about fake news and the fake news media, was I really was the fact that so many of the people that I talk about in terms of fake news actually came to the defense of this great administration and even myself because they know the author and they know he's a fraud. And when I saw some of the people say, and you look at some of his past books, he did a book on Rupert Murdoch. It was a terrible uh, expose and it was false. So much of it was false. Uh, I consider it a work of fiction. And I think it's a disgrace that somebody's able to uh, have something, do something like that. The libel laws are very weak in this country. If they were strong, it, uh, it would be uh, very helpful. You wouldn't have things like that happen where you can say whatever comes to your head. But just so you know, I never interviewed with him in the White House at all. He was never in the Oval Office. We didn't have an interview. Uh, and uh, I did a quick interview with him a long time ago having to do with an article. But I don't know this man. I guess uh, Sloppy Steve brought him into the White House quite a bit. And it was one of those things. That's why Sloppy Steve is now looking for a job. Let's get right to NBC's Kelly O'Donnell, who's live for us from the White House. Kelly, the president was there speaking frankly, clearly, and defensively. And this is really the first time he's commented on Michael Wolff's Fire and Fury book. What do you make of his comments? Well, bringing some of his tweets to life with his on-camera comments, flanked by some of the most senior members of his administration and Republican leadership in Congress, the president equating personal successes and accomplishments, attending a certain college, becoming a business success, his TV career, and now winning the White House as evidence, as he would describe it, for being mentally stable in the face of allegations that worked out through this book, Fire and Fury, that have gotten a lot of attention and clearly gotten under the skin of President Trump, who went after the author and tried to undercut his access to the White House and his assessment of the president. Very notable, especially given the setting, the presidential retreat, Camp David, at a time when the president is there to talk about the legislative agenda for the coming year, to talk about the landscape politically for Republicans in a midterm year now. And he also made some news when asked about uh, whether it was proper to have his White House counsel try to discourage Jeff Sessions, the attorney general, from recusing himself in the Russia investigation. The president said he acted 100 percent properly. Morgan? And Kelly, taking us back to why he's there at Camp David in the first place, in terms of that 2018 agenda that you mentioned, what's at the top of that list? Well, among the things the president is talking about is a word we don't often hear from him, bipartisanship, saying he can try to work some kind of deal with Democrats on immigration. That will be difficult. He is willing to try to work to provide legal status for young immigrants brought here as children without the proper documentation. It's known as DACA to extend that. But in exchange, he's talking about the wall for the southern border more money for border security, things that would be difficult for Democrats to support. He's also talking about infrastructure and getting a budget deal to extend government funding to keep all the operations open beyond the next coming deadline, which is this month. So there's a big plate of issues. The president also says he will hit the campaign trail to support Democrats, rather Republicans, but he hopes that he can demonstrate a willingness to work with Dem Democrats as well. That's something we have not yet seen in the first year of the Trump presidency. Morgan? Okay. Kelly O'Donnell joining us live from the White House. Kelly, thank you so much. We'll be sure to have much more tonight on NBC Nightly News. For now, I'm Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.